Hey, Bobby here with Coder Foundry, and recently we released a video about the myths of .NET, and one of those myths about .NET is that it doesn't run on Linux, or it only runs on Windows, and that's still prevalent. I saw a thing on Twitter where someone was asking, hey, I have a side project, or sometimes a student will ask, hey, I have this .NET project, I would like to host that, but I don't want to enter into an agreement with AWS or Azure. Is there any free ways to do it? And a lot of people respond, and unfortunately, no, there aren't any free ways. And I'm here to tell you that that's false. This goes back to the narrative that it doesn't run anywhere. In fact, .NET does run anywhere. And so if you need a low-cost option, we have come up with a solution with Heroku. Our students routinely push our .NET applications to Heroku on their free tier. And that's a full-stack application with a database. So let me show you how we can push a .NET application to Heroku for free and also give us a CI CD pipeline straight from GitHub without a container. So I'm going to go over to Heroku here and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just sign out to show you kind of how the sign in process works. I'm not going to show you how to create an application here or how to create an account. What I'm going to do is just log in real quick. And it's going to ask me for my verification code, 640. It's one-time use. So when I log in, you can see right away I come to my um, dashboard. Now, in this particular account that I'm logging in with, I don't have any applications. So I'm going to go ahead and create one. And you have to give it a unique name across Heroku. So I'm going to say demo.net, and that's available. And I'm going to hit create app. So pretty simple. Now we have an application created in Heroku, but we don't have any type of source code that we can deploy with. Now what I want to do is I want to deploy method here, and I'm going to pick GitHub. Now there's some other choices here I'm not going to cover today, but directly from GitHub is a very convenient and common way to push code. And then what will happen here is when I push my code to a certain branch, that branch will get built, and then that build will be pushed or deployed to Heroku, which takes it live without any interaction from me. All I have to do is push to GitHub. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go over to Visual Studio 2022. And I haven't pushed this particular solution to Git yet. So I'm going to show you how that works. Hit my Git here and I'm going to hit create repo. And this is going to initialize a local Git repository. I'm also going to create a new GitHub repository, remote repository. And this is what Heroku is going to look at. And I'm just going to hit create and push. I'm going to keep mine private for now. Yours can be public or private, not really a big deal. And this built-in Git integration with Visual Studio is pretty neat. And once that's done, we can go out and check to make sure that we have... Um, a repo here. So I'm going to go to repos and I'm going to search it. There it is. So right now we have a Heroku demo and it was just pushed out there. Okay. So now that we have code out in GitHub, now let's connect it back to Heroku. So I'm going to come over to Heroku back in my dashboard here and I'm going to click on this connect to GitHub right here in the middle of the page here. And um, I'm already logged in. If you're not, I'll ask you to authenticate. And I'm going to pick the Heroku demo um, repo here. And then you can see, I'm going to hit connect. And so now the Heroku is now connected to the, um, the repo. And now you can pick the branch you want to deploy. I'm just going to use the main deploy branch here. But um, if you have a deployment pipeline set up and you go to different branches or whatever, just know that when you push to this branch, um, I'm going to enable something called automatic deploy. So when it's pushed here, it'll automatically get deployed. Now, of course, with GitHub, you could have multiple branches and maybe a dev branch or some kind of QA branch. And only when you push to this branch would it actually get deployed. And that's pretty cool. Now, we could click deploy here but it's not going to work. Um, what we need to do is introduce a build step. So I'm going to go over to the settings here and um, we need something called a build pack. So for .NET to work, 
we need to actually do a build before we deploy. If we just push our source code in its raw form out there, that's not a compiled version of the application, therefore it won't work. So we need to take it through a build process. And all we have to do is add a build pack. Now, as you can see here, .NET isn't officially supported, but that's okay. Uh, we have a build pack that has worked fantastic for us. And this is Gen, Co Gen Code or Gen .NET Core build pack for Heroku. And all you have to do is copy this URL, go back in here and push it in here and hit save changes. And so now what we have is we have this build pack set up here, ready to go. Or back to my deploy here. And so now that I'm connected and then I also have enabled my um, automatic deploys and now I can just pick the branch I want to deploy. I only have one branch in this one. So I'm going to hit deploy. Watch what happens. So what it's doing is it's going through the build process here. And you can look at this in a couple of ways. You can look at it from right here. Um, doesn't matter if you click off. You can also click on the activity tab and you can see what it's doing. And so right now it's going through the build and process. And when this is done, um, our application will be um, deployed directly to Heroku, ready to go. And notice we don't have to really know anything about servers. We just simply set up our connection from our GitHub repo and then make sure we have a build pack for .NET and then that's it. And everything else is automatic. So it's deployed it now, and now it's still going through the .NET build process. And once this stops, we can go look at our application. Now, depending on the complexity of your app, this may take a few minutes or it may go quicker. But overall, this is a pretty quick process, a minute or so. Okay, now that that's done, let's go check it out. So we can um, click on this and open our app here. And then there's our app. So let's walk through how we can make changes. So let's get this deployed out here. Don't quit on your dreams. Marketing comes back and says, I don't like this language, don't or quit. I want you to come up with a different phrasing to say the same thing. So I've got an idea. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to um, my application here. And um, I've got my page up here. And you can see here, just some simple HTML, don't quit. And I'm going to just change this wording to never give up on your dreams. Sounds a little better. I think don't's a negative word. Even though this is never, this is more of a positive, like, hey, you can do it. Never give up. And so now I've got my changes here. Now I could run this um, and look at this in my development environment. Like, let's do that real quick. So if you notice right now, we haven't committed anything. Um, we're just going through our natural process here. Looking at making sure that everything looks good. And so never give up on your dreams. We think that looks a little bit better. I like the way that is phrased. And so I can go back to my Git here and I can commit my changes and change title message. I'm going to say commit all. And now over here, I can push this into my, um, into GitHub. Now what's going to happen when I push this, it's also Heroku is watching for this and it'll automatically pick up the change, um, in the main branch out on GitHub and deploy it for me. So let's watch that. So it's going to push it. And so what we can do is we can go over here and we can look at our activity here. And you can see just now, it's just starting the build process again. Automatic, we didn't have to do anything. It's basically watching that main branch. And now when that main branch changes, um, those changes get deployed to Heroku, goes to the build process, and then publishes our app. Don't have to know a lot about servers. Pretty simple and easy to do. And now that we have this really um, robust pipeline in place, makes it really easy to push things. So we'll just wait for this to finish and then we'll check it out. Okay, now that's done. Look at this. We can refresh our page here. And there's our changes and that's on the Heroku thing. 
never give up on your dreams. So to sum this up, you can deploy your .NET application and on the free tiers, they have our very robust free tier on Heroku. You can even use a free version of Postgres as well. So you can get a full stack application running in .NET up on a free Linux host like Heroku without a container and you have a CI CD um, pipeline directly through GitHub. I think that's a very powerful combination and something that you should have no reason to not adding .NET to your toolkit. So learn .NET, start your new coding career with .NET. And if you need some more help, just go to learn.coderfounder.com. We can show you everything you need to know to get that first software job. Well, I hope this helps. Good luck and keep coding.